Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to learn about the common interface or very basic interface navigation of the Postman app that we have installed. So understanding the Postman interface is important because this will give you a good understanding and will make your life much easier as we move along to follow all the important sections and locations within the Postman tool. Now one most important thing is that you will see that product update. So Postman will be actively releasing it it's actively developed and there are releases coming out very frequently right so say for example postman version 10 is here and i believe the one that i installed is version 9 right so don't worry if there is some sort of mismatch in the alignment or in in the way the buttons are available or maybe some section has been removed or moved to somewhere else the core concept of the api testing will remain absolutely same even though the tool look and feel layout changes you will be easily be able to correlate if you briefly explore a little bit detail of the new version okay they won't be removing or they they might remove few functionalities altogether but they'll add more additional functionalities or the layout might get changed as well but that's very easy to pick up once you know the core concepts of api testing okay so once you have launched the app right what you need to do is we, we first need to basically Basically, say for example you if you are uh, from the development background or you have done some sort of automation we know that we need to create a project right so it doesn't matter you are doing manual testing uh, or doing the automation you create a project and you within the project you put all your testing artifacts so similar is the case in postman right so in postman the concept is workspaces so we create a workspace and within the workspace you put all your project apis that you are going to test right so you will see that if you go here you'll see home workspaces api network wherein we have the private public and partner and then you can go ahead and explore more details okay so what we need to do is we need to first go to the workspaces and you'll see default my workspace is already there if you click on this it will take you to the postman interface where we'll be doing the api testing okay now at the top this is the header okay similar to what the website header is so it is a header postman has the footer as well let me zoom in a little bit so it's more clear okay so you will see we have the header then we have the footer at the bottom this is the left uh, navigation right so the left left bar and then in the right side you will have another right bar okay now within this workspace right so we are in the default workspace that's there but we can rename this workspace to whatever name we want or we can create a new workspace to create a new workspace we simply go to the workspace and then provide the name say for example i'll say rcv academy api testing okay and then i'll simply say create workspace because there is no workspace with this name if there would have been any workspace it will list out the existing workspace so i'll simply click on create workspace okay and then rcv academy api testing okay and then provide a brief summary if you want to right and then you will see that we have the option of the visibility right so this is kind of creating your first project before we can start doing the api testing so visibility is if you only want to keep it for yourself you it for personal use keep it personal or it is for the team right or if it is for public then it can be viewed by everyone in the public okay so i'll keep it at, at a team level as at the moment and then i'll simply click on create workspace and team right if you'll keep it at team then you have to make sure that you are, there is a team as well so let me keep it as personal at the moment right because we don't have team at the moment and I'll simply click on create workspace. Now this workspace or this particular project will get created. Okay. So now you will see that we are in the RCV Academy API testing space. Okay. And now we can simply go ahead and start creating our API request. So how we are going to create a API request simply click on this plus here. Okay. And then you will see this opens the workspace or the workbench. Okay. This is not a workspace. It's a workbench wherein we'll put the endpoint. And then these are the methods that are very common. So CRUD operations you know about and I'll cover those details. So create, read, update, delete. So get, post, put, patch and delete. These are the very basic API uh, 
um, request or uh, the methods basically that will be using to fetch the data to update the data delete the data etc okay but before that we'll understand what exactly apis are rest api soap api graphql all of that basic we'll understand after this particular tutorial and then we'll create our first api request in postman okay so this is the key information here you will see that a uh, key section here uh, along with the workspace that we have created right so we we can we see the collections here the environment mock servers will be working with all of these and then here we need to enter the url if you we want to hit any of the api okay and then you'll see that there are different parameters the authorization if you want to specify there are different authorizations and then headers body and a prerequisite test etc we are going to learn all of this in detail because this is the core part of the api testing okay but as of now this is where you will put all your request data and then when you'll send this request you will get a response in this response section below here okay so this is briefly the key section of the postman all right so header footer this is the workbench here okay and then the right sidebar and the left sidebar okay so you will get most of the information in these sections itself so that's pretty much all about the postman navigation and a brief intro about the postman layout i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching